Hello everyone and welcome to my LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga Character Showcase on Count Dooku. This is the fourth main villain of the game and I'm going to be talking all about him. As you can see, uh, or if you already probably know, why don't I end? I'm not going to do that. He is a Dark Force character and as you can see, probably better when he's, oh, he's right there. Goodbye. He has a curved lightsaber. He does double jump because he's a Jedi. He does the Jedi Slash as I like to call it by doing a front flip, a full on front flip. There's like three spins in the air before he does his Jedi Slam. I think that's also awesome. Whoa, okay. He did a super combo move and died, but that's fine. So, that's his normal move right there. And, uh, press triangle. Nothing happens. That's his one jump. Of course, you saw his Jedi Slam. But the most unique thing about Count Dooku, because he is one of only two characters in the game who can do this, is he has Force Lightning. Oh my gosh, you can do it to the little boy. I did not know that. I did not know that for sure, I swear. Uh, if it's a droid, let me show you guys. If it's a droid... Wait, can he not force him? Okay, I did not know that. Uh, if it's a droid, he just pushes him back. So, uh... This guy deserves to die, I guess, because he looks... Or he just takes off one heart. I guess it's not an instant kill. Okay. And, uh, there's... So here is Anakin Skywalker. And here is Count Dooku. You have defeated me once. By chopping off my head and I cut off your hand. Now I'm gonna do the rest of it, so... Come here! Get out of here! Did he die? Yes! Did, uh... Did that work? Did that work for the achievement? I do not know, so I guess I have to defeat him like this. Die! This is our greatest battle! Maybe he had to shatter into a million pieces. I have no idea. No, seriously, why is it not working? There we go. Yep, you had to do it with your lightsaber. Hands off. Achievement unlocked. 10 gamer score. That's the defeat count. The defeat Anakin while playing as Count Dooku. He has unlocked. He has not unlocked after episode. Uh, I'm not even gonna be do saving it. So, uh, exit without saving. He is not unlocked at the end of episode 2 with his boss fight, because he, he is also in episode 3. You unlock him after completing episode 3-2 to level. Let me just do this because, well, why not? And he costs 100,000 studs. Like I said, much thing about him is that he can uh, have force lightning, and he has a dark Sith character. Dark Force, whatever you want to call it. He is also the main villain in the Clone Wars. And which is the Star Wars event that happened in between episodes 2 and 3. He was played by Christopher Lee in the movies. He is also, and Count Dooku is also known as Darth Tyrannus. Or Tyrannus. Tyrannus, that's how you say it. Let me jump up here. There we go. He was taken by... So for some history on Count Dooku, he was taken by the Jedi Order after being abandoned by his family and learned the Jedi arts as the Padawan of Yoda, yes? Yoda was uh, his Jedi trainer. He was a political idealist, the corruption in the Galactic Senate, as well as a traitorous of the Jedi, disillusioned him, causing Dooku to leave the Order and return to his homeworld, where he reclaimed his title of Count. Dooku began to secretly conspire with Darth Sidious before abandoning his commitment to the light side of the Force after the death of Qui-Gon Jinn by Darth Maul, becoming Darth Lord's next apprentice and adopting the title of Darth Tyrannus. Dooku used his resources and charisma to recruit elite star systems to the Separatist cause and at the same time, he oversaw the development of two vast armies, the Droid Army and the Clone Army, which are battle droids from the Enosis and Kamino Tankbred clones based off the bounty hunter Jango Fett. He captured Obi-Wan Kenobi in Episode 3 on Geonosis, and later Anakin Skywalker and Padme Amidalia. He put them in the Geonosian arena, but they broke out and chased Dooku to his hideout and fought him. In the fight, Count Dooku cut off Anakin's hand. He then fought Obi-Wan Kenobi and Yoda, but he escaped at the end, and that led to the Clone Wars where he had subordinates called Asajj Ventress and General Grievous. Uh, but that's for another video, probably when I play him as LEGO Star Wars 3. Okay. By the third year of the war, Dooku and Grievous succeeded in ab ab abducting Chancellor Palpatine, and during the ensuing Battle of Coruscant, he was confronted and defeated by Anakin Skywalker, who executed Count Dooku by beheading him at the Chancellor's 
uh, command, basically. Okay, did I mean to do that? Oh, I guess it's not going to start a bar fight. Maybe I'll let you know that guy. So that's all I'm going to say about Count Dooku here really fast because he has a huge history in the Clone Wars. And I do find him one of the most interesting Star Wars villains, honestly. Especially compared to someone like Darth Maul. Oh gosh, I don't mean to do that to him. So here's... Oh my gosh, I tried to put away his lightsaber, but then, um... I think I have to press B to put away his lightsaber. Anyway, there you go. Yeah, one of my favorite Star Wars villains in lore. Of course, he has a lot of time in uh, the Clone Wars and, you know, other things. He's been in every LEGO Star Wars video game. Dark Force, so you unlock him. Uh, it's really just him and Count Dooku Haunt as Dark Force characters in the first LEGO Star Wars game. Or in the first three episodes. So anyway, he kind of looks a little bit boring. I mean, he has a cape just like Anakin Skywalker's. He has old gray hair. He doesn't have anything that interesting on his face. Like I said, Force Lightning is his, is his greatest uh, uh, plus. So with that said, thank you for watching. And I really, really hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Oh, this guy stood in my face. Are you kidding me?